We're on part two of Oyuk and the National Register. We're going to do steps six through twelve here. This is the Oyuk Post Office, made in the 1930s. Inside is a beautiful mural on the western wall. And the reason why it's a National Register is because the Art Deco, Deco look to the outside of it. it. It's considered very beautiful for most post offices. And we're going now to Veterans Park, which has has Hampton Park, the historic name of it. It's also in the National Register. You can see they're very close together. And this is this is a, one of the five districts that's on the National Register in Hoyo. Now it's not only just a park, of course, it's a memorials to many men, and it's also based upon the whole two three blocks around here, including the Saint. Jerome's Church, and we just passed by the school in Mac Exception in Notre Dame, so in a rectory. So we're just going through this district, and if you look to our left, we have the St. Jerome's Church. So it's a big district that's on the National Register of Historic Places, and it's definitely the most worthy of all because it's quite beautiful in all three blocks. And it was very happily saved as it was turned into house and the, which saved the school and the convents, two convents. And that is good. Now we're going to go up to on Maple Street going up the top of High Street. Five blocks of High Street are in the National Register also. And those five blocks definitely deserve it. The reason why is that they have a very unique architectural style to them. They were submitted as entries to the National Register in two pieces. One was submitted early on in the 80s, and that was the first uh, two blocks of High Street. And then the next three blocks of High Street, going from north to south, were submitted, and they was, it was received onto the National Register. It includes pieces on the side streets, and one piece is seen right here and includes the Congregational Church, historically called the Second Congregational, <coughs> now called United Congregational. And it has a Skinner Chapel attached to its uh, southern side. And so that is the start of the High Street Historic District, even though only its back is on High Street. And so you can see the back now. Now you can see across the way there's beautiful buildings on, on that side. There used to be the volleyball birthplace on my left. Now it's gone now. And you can see on both the left and the right all of High Street from now on uh, up to the end of it is on a national register. And it was placed on there because it was a very unique architectural styles. Most of the buildings, if they look new, are really old with a new facade. If they look old, then they probably from the 1880s or 1890s. And what we're going to come up very quickly is Hoyuk City Hall, which separately is on the National Register as one entry, and then collectively is on the North High Street National Register as an entry. Now. Yeah, that's on your right hand side. It's a very large, beautiful building. And then on the left, as you can from another entry on the National Register, which is separately on the National Register. That's the Caledonia building. It's on the left, has about half block up from us. And it's also collectively on a National Register as part of the North High Street District. All right, so this street has one district and two sub entities separately on the National Register. Okay, we're, we're going to pass a lot of uh, nice things here at the end. The Oriel building, the Allen building on the right, the right block and the Fuller block on the right, and the Crafts building on the left. And so hopefully on this part you can definitely gotta get out of your car and look around and see all the beautiful entries. Now, we're going to go off to another district. In fact, to end off, we're going to look at two districts. One district is called the Prospects Park Historic District. That's now named 
Pulaski Park. And Pulaski Park is at the very end, north end of Maple Street nowadays. It was made sometime in the 1880s. It is a homestead design park. And you can see it borders the canal on the right. And then towards the middle, it's with the turbines and the Connecticut River. And then the upper part goes towards where there's a uh, honor to Pulaski himself. So this park is on the National Register because of who designed it and how well maintained it is. And so our last stop is going to be at the Highly Falls Worker Homes. And those are in the Flats neighborhood of Holyoke. And those homes are from the year 1848. They were built by the canal diggers to be their homes while they dug the canals. And then even after they were done digging it, they remained homes for the Hadley Falls workers. And very near there is another entry I wish were put onto the National Register. That's the Richardsonian train station. It's being improved inside and out so maybe someday it will be placed on there and this is honorary designation in most cases only in a couple cases does it have any restrictions and that's because they accepted money from the federal government it's called the uh, historical res restrictions and that means they cannot make changes without telling the federal government passing the Rich Street train station on the right. But here now we're in the Hadley Falls Worker Home District on the left. And there's five of the six of these city blocks are still, still left, still privately owned. We're passing one on the right. And you can see they're very beautifully maintained. And I hope they stay this way because they're a very old example of worker housing. They were, they were built by the original canal diggers. The same people had done the Chickabee Canal, and they have very similar houses. So we're going to pass down this street, right through to them, on both the left and right-hand side, known as the Hadley Falls Buildings. So thank you for coming on the whole tour. This is part two. If you didn't catch part one, I hope you catch it at some point.